Hello everyone, welcome to Learn English with Anika. Today we are back to business English and we are going to talk about five expressions for agreeing with someone and five other expressions for disagreeing with someone in a business meeting or conference call. So let's get started. Let's talk about agreeing. A lot of students repeatedly use the expression I agree. I agree is perfectly fine to say but you don't want to repeat the same thing 10 times in a meeting. So here are different ways to say I agree. Number one, I couldn't agree with you more. I couldn't agree with you more. This is when you strongly agree with someone. Notice that I am not pronouncing the T of couldn't very clearly. When you say it naturally, it becomes couldn't agree. I couldn't agree with you more. I couldn't agree with you more. Number two is my personal favorite. You have a point there. You have a point there. You have a point there. The third expression I have on my list, you probably know because it's very common. You're right. You're right. Or if you want to appear stronger in your opinion, you can say you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. We say the fourth expression when we agree with one particular person in a group meeting. For example, if you agree with Jane in particular, you'd say something like, I have to side with Jane on this one. I have to side with Jane on this one. Notice my pronunciation of have to, even though we write these two words separately, when we pronounce it naturally, it becomes have to, have to. I have to side with Jane on this one. The fifth expression for agreeing is also very common and you probably already use it. That's true. That is true. And if you want to exaggerate a little bit, you can say, that's so true. And if you want to be a little bit more dramatic, that is so true. Now let's move on to five disagreeing expressions. Number one, I see where you're coming from, but... I see where you're coming from, but, and give your reasons. For example, I see where you're coming from, but if we raise our prices, I think we're going to lose a lot of loyal customers. Number two, I can't say I completely agree with you. I can't say I completely agree with you. This is an, a kind of an indirect way to say I disagree. Simply saying I disagree can come off as too direct or in some cases a little bit rude. So you want to be a little more diplomatic and say, I can't say I completely agree with you. Number three, that's not entirely true. That's not entirely true. Even if you completely disagree with the person, that's not entirely true is a polite way to disagree with someone. Number four, I'd agree with you if. I'd agree with you if. This is an example of a second conditional sentence. The rest of the sentence is always followed by a verb in the past simple. I'd agree with you if our budget wasn't so low. I'd agree with you if our budget wasn't so low. Notice the pronunciation. I'd agree. I'd agree. Degree. So this is a contraction form of I would agree. But when you say it more naturally, it becomes I'd agree. And finally, number five is a little more direct way to disagree with someone. I'm afraid I disagree. I'm afraid I disagree. Now, there are those occasions where you can't reach an agreement with someone in a meeting. So you keep agreeing, the other person disagreeing or vice versa. So what do you say in that situation to end the debate? A really common expression is, let's just agree to disagree. Let's just agree to disagree. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to comment for any questions or suggestions for future videos. Have a great day!